Next, we'll have a member of PNHP, the Physicians for National Health Program, Jim Recht. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Why do physicians support a national health program? Because the current health program sucks. <laughs> I had more statistics to give you. You've already heard them from some of the other speakers in a more compelling way than I could provide. But let, let me just say this. So we're for single payer, right? Yeah. Single payer. So what the hell is single payer? What does it even mean? It means a national health insurance program. It means socialized health insurance. That's what we're talking about when we say single payer, socializing the health insurance system. Why do we want to do that? Because we want to take profit out of the health insurance system. Okay, give me just a minute. So, why don't we support Obamacare, the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act? the program that is modeled so closely on the Massachusetts reform that we struggle with today. Why don't we support that? The bottom line is, these, this national reform preserves the status quo, a system built around a market controlled by private insurance corporations. Obamacare doesn't even pretend, for one thing, doesn't even pretend to achieve universal health in, uh, coverage. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that 10 years from now, more than 23 million of us will still have no health insurance. And by 2014, the average middle class family will be underinsured to the tune of up to 20% of their household income. That means after paying out for a health insurance uh, policy under this reform, the average middle class family is going to owe thousands more dollars if they actually need health care. Who's going to be able to afford that kind of health care? Not the 99%. So it doesn't need to happen like this. In both the U.S. House and Senate, sponsors including Bernie Sanders of Vermont, Woo! yeah, and John Conyers of New York, have proposed legislation that would eliminate private health insurance and replace it with a national health insurance program with automatic enrollment and universal coverage for all necessary medical care, prescriptions, and long-term care. And we're talking about for everybody. This is, the House bill is H.R. 676. This uh, covers every resident living in the United States. Woo! And these... These proposals would also fund the retraining and reemployment of virtually all current insurance company employees as valued health care workers who will be needed to meet the large increased demand when everyone finally has access to the care they need. Where will all this money come from? The answer is we're already paying it. The savings generated by a national health insurance program would exceed $350 billion every year. You can tell that to your friends. More than $350 billion a year. This huge cost savings would be more than enough to fund the expansion of our health care infrastructure and to cover everyone, everyone, but don't shout so loud. Everyone without co-pays or deductibles. So what can you do? First, get more information. Check out pnhp.org. Second, check out these bills. You can go online, check out House, uh, it's, the House bill is HR 676, the Senate bill is S703. Third, join us. We're not going to be going away at the end of today's action. We're moving forward with you, Occupy Boston. Thank you.